Let's bring it in. I'm going to cut out right out. Uh, Keep pounding. Explore, expand, elevate. Explore, expand, elevate. Bring it in, bring it in tighter. Explore, expand, elevate. Explore, expand, elevate. Yes. Explore, expand, elevate. Explore, expand, elevate. Expand, elevate. Everyone take a deep breath in. Hold it. 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 Feel that. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let it go. We just spent a lot of time working out. Okay? Work out. Energy out. Everything external to us out. We're going to spend a moment just coming back in. We're going to come back in. So we're going to ask everybody to close their eyes. Close their eyes and just breathe through your nose. Nasal breathing only. Closing your eyes and maybe if you can, get a hand on the ground and a knee on the ground and connect to earth and feel earth's power. Feel the groundedness and the connectedness that earth gives you. The safety, the structure, the stability that earth provides you to walk this land. And if you can, slow the breath down just a little bit. Lengthen it and keep it really light, silent. Going within. You shouldn't be able to hear your breath, nor should you be able to hear the breath of your brother next to you. Bring that breath down into the root of your body. Inhale from the core of earth. Exhale from the top of your crown. Feeling your heart. Feeling your body pulsate. You just worked hard. And slowly open your eyes. Come back to this space. We're going to speak to something that's very dear to my heart and I think to most of you. Who here has wanted at some stage in their life or perhaps still wants a clearer, more connected, loving relationship with their father? Just place your hand up. Trey spoke about a champion mindset today. He spoke about just a little bit what's required to have a champion mindset. And one of the many things I got from my brother was process. Everything's a process. Everything takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. It feels like that, but it doesn't. I heard someone once say, yeah, I'm an overnight success and it took me 10 years. I remember about nine years ago, I was driving home from a personal development immersive that I was a part of. It was a three-day immersive, real intensive, really deep stuff. And the wound that I was working on and the pain that I was working on was my relationship with my father. The abuse, the violence, the volatility, the uncertainty. Growing up was fucking hectic. I've shared this before. You drop a spoon from the kitchen table and boom, physical violence. Sneeze and you're being screamed at for making too much noise. Do something in public that he didn't like, ear, neck, he didn't give a fuck. And over these three days, I felt my heart open just a little bit. I'm 39 years old now, right? So keep that in mind, this is about 30 years of age. I felt my heart open a little bit. I thought, wow, I think I can forgive my father. I think I can let it all go, all the shit that he did to me and my brother, to my mum, to himself, I, can, I, I think I can let it go. I think I can release. So I rang him up. I was a little naive. I rang him up, I said, Baba, because I'm half Greek, half Italian. I said, Baba, that's the word in Greek for father. I was speaking to him in Greek, I speak Greek. I said, I love you and I forgive you. You know what he said to me? 
Forgive me for what you can't. Just a little bit, not a lot, because I'm still fresh, right? I'm still riding the wave of that, that course. And it was a legitimate course, it was a legitimate mercy. And I said, it's okay, Papa. I love you. He said, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, listen, can you pick this thing up for me? And he just started going on. So I sat with that. And over the years, it's been a bit of an ebb and flow. A bit of an ebb and flow. Let go just a little bit. Accept a little more, forgive a little more, feel a little more. Because you've got to feel to forgive, you know that, right? Because you can say, I forgive you, but unless you feel the charge and the feelings and the activation behind that, forgiveness doesn't mean anything. They're just words in the air. Now I'm going to share another story with you. What's today? Thursday. Of course it's Thursday, so we're here. It's Thursday morning. <laughs> Sunday, I spent about three hours on the phone with my father. And, and we have a pretty good relationship. And I asked him some questions. I said, Baba, what, you know, do you have any regrets as a father? And this is all in Greek, by the way. It's translating for you. Do you have any regrets as a father? Like, if you look back, he's 80 years old. He had me a little late, right? A little later in life. So what do you think about your fatherhood? Like, how would you rate your fatherhood from a scale of 1 to 10? I'm talking to him. And he said, excellent. I was always there for you. You know, I worked a lot, but I was always thinking about you. And I always would play with you, but then your brother came five years later. I wasn't there too much for your brother, but I was a really good father. And I smiled. And I said, Baba, I love you. I know. I know you were. And he was. Now, I'd say I healed that completely, because nothing's ever complete. I like your American accent. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Probably a few years ago. But Sunday was really deep for me. Because I saw him for the first time, I think, without judgment and with compassion. And what he did and who he was, how he thought and what he felt, it didn't matter. What mattered was how I saw him in that moment and what I realized within myself. Now, I work a lot with individuals and groups and people come to me all the time, fuck man, I've done so much work, I'm still working through this thing, I've been at it for six months, I've been at it for five years, been at it for ten years. Where's Trey? When did you start training? Hmm. When, when you're five years old playing a game, you start learning things. How old are you now? I've been in intention. 30, how old? 38? This is a number, I don't know. That's 21 you start. <laughs> it's a process. It is a process. I'm going to tell you something else. The thing you do before you get to the place you are now is the preparation for you to open up your heart yes. to the thing that you're facing now that you think you've already faced you've done your work you just got some more to do that's all it is that's the championship mindset it's got nothing to do with your external achievements it's got nothing to do with the barometer of oh i'm healed i'm healed it's got nothing to do with that it's got to do with acknowledgement acknowledging the work you've done and knowing that that's preparation for the next stage in evolution of your life. I know most of you, if not all of you, have a pain with your father. Not everyone, but most of you here will have a pain with your father. Because more than likely, they will really hurt themselves. Now, hurt people hurt people, and that's not an excuse. But if you keep holding on to the excuses, you'll never get to the forgiveness. So if you keep blaming and shaming, you're stuck in that part of your process and you're never going to get out of it. You have to begin to be kind to yourself. Now when you open your heart and you activate your body and you give yourself an opportunity to release, to feel that shit that's stuck, that hasn't been processed in a safe way, where your nervous system feels, I'm safe enough. You'll get to the point where not only do you forgive, but you love in a way you've never loved before. And you see yourself in a way you never 
have seen yourself before and you stop compensating. You stop trying too hard. You stop being or pretending to be someone you're not. You stop wearing the masks and you start living your truth and you start accepting yourself. Last week, I went through a massive, massive self-acceptance process and I'm still in it. I'm still integrating and I will be for a few months, I'd say. This brother was a witness to it. That brother's been a witness to it. And I'm telling you right now, I've done a lot of work. I've done a hell of a fucking lot of inner work, psycho-emotional, spiritual work. And guess what? It ain't over. And I'll continue to do it. Because my heart's beating, I'm alive, I'm in relationship, new shit's happening in my life. And I have to accept, I get to accept, that the things that I've done before and the things that have happened to me before are preparing me for the next thing. And I also have the opportunity to be at peace with where I'm at. And be in the process. Be in the uncertainty. Be in the unknown. Be in the unconscious. Be in your shit and your flaws. And you know what? I'm telling you fucking right now 100%. I've had that conversation a million times with myself. But the conversation I had last week with him and the conversation I had this week with him, if I'm not witnessed by other men, it ain't shit. Trust me on that. Please, don't even trust me. Experiment yourself. Do your own inner work by yourself. And by the way, I'm an advocate of solitude and self-reliance. Massive advocate. First port of call is you. No one knows you better than you. And it's going to be brothers around you that are going to see something in you and reflect something back to you that you can't see yourself, which will enhance your process, which will give you a gift of deeper recognition of self. So you want to be a champion? Guess what? You already are. If you show up and you just continue to be you and explore and be curious and help yourself feel safe and own the parts of you that you dislike, then guess what? You're already a champion. Here's how we're gonna end today. Really simple. You're gonna take one thing that you learned today, one thing, and here's my invitation to you. I want you to write something to that one thing, whether it's a paragraph or a page. And I want you to expand on it and how it applies to your life and how it can make a difference to your life. So one thing I want you to do today. Can I get a commitment from everyone they're going yeah. to do that? Yes. 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 And what I'd like you to do, if you want, you'll either put it in the Telegram group, yes, I did what I had to do, or you'll share in the Telegram group what you did. How's that? Yeah. You don't have to share, no pressure there, but you're going to at least say, yes, I did it. Yes. Done, complete, tick, tick, any fucking emoji you want, whatever, GIF. Throw it in there. I like gifts. You can do that. And the second thing we're going to do is this. We're going to put a hand on the ground. We're going to acknowledge the traditional landowners of this place, this land. The traditional landowners that once roamed here, that have placed their energy here, that have infused this space with the blessings that we receive today, all of it. The ingenuity, the innovation, the technology, the connection we get to have on this land. Because I'll tell you something, in the very short life I've lived, yes, the material matters, but oof, there's something very immaterial about this life. <laughs> something we can't quite explain. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a moment of silence and reverence for this land. And this land is you. You come from this land. You come from Earth. You come from the oceans. You come from the cosmos. A moment of reverence for this land is a moment of reverence for you and your kin your generation before you, your ancestors. Big deep breath in. Hold. Release through your nose. Go about your day and be the best version of you. Three beats on your chest. One, two, three.